The overall goal of this procedure is to identify at a large scale the coxiella factors implicated in the key steps of the infectious cycle, including entry into host cells, generation of a bacterial replicative niche, and persistence. This is accomplished by first generating a GFP-tagged coxiella mutant library by transposon mutagenesis. Next, the host cells are infected with every isolated mutant. Then, the intracellular replication of every mutant is followed in real time using a microplate reader in order to identify the mutations that are most detrimental to coxiella infection. Finally, the coxiella infected cells are analyzed by automated microscopy. Ultimately, automated image analysis allows the morphological characterization of every phenotype obtained to associate each mutated gene with a putative function in the coxiella infectious cycle. This method can help uh, address key issues in the field of host pathogen interaction, such as the large-scale identification of the essential genes of a given pathogen required to interact with the, the host cell and hijack its molecular machineries to its benefit. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as the plating and isolation of coxella colonies are difficult to achieve. Indeed, coxella forms very small colonies that need to be carefully extracted from soft ACCM2 agarose. So this method can provide insight into coxella burnet infection. It can also be applied to other intracellular pathogenic bacteria such as Salmonella, Brucella, Mycobacterium, etc. After transforming competent coxiella with transposon and transposase encoding plasmids according to the text protocol,